All right, everybody, and welcome back to another Regicide Rumble game. This is officially game number five. However, it is game number one of day two, uh, which is really exciting for me. Because two and a half years ago, when I did the Regicide Rumble 2, we didn't have near as many signups. And the community has grown. In fact, many of the people who signed up... Oh, hold on a second. Where's my stuff? Where? Oh, oh, oh. Guys, I have to I I have to close my explorer real quick cuz my my taskbar keeps showing up. Yeah, the taskbar is visible. One one second. I'm sorry. I don't know why this continues to become an issue. This was this happened just a few days ago. What do I do again? Just just close the Windows Explorer or restart it? Or is it all F4? Actually, no. I have to delete system 32, I think. All right. System 32 has been deleted. And we can get into the game now. My bad. Sorry, sorry for my awful intro. Let's try this again. Um, welcome every No, I'm not trying it again. All right, I can't fake that emotion again. I'm excited for today. Uh, because two and a half years ago, we didn't have near as many signups. We didn't have near as many players. A lot of the names that you see here right now were people who were just getting into the community back then. And they've, over the years, become very strong and very well known for their community gameplay. Uh, this map is called Beach Fight, and before I talk about the map too much, I'm going to introduce the players, because there's a lot of big players, and every single player can win this game. Uh, in the gray, we have Yodan. He's playing as the Aztecs in... Whoa, 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 that's green. This is Roach. Roach is playing as the Slavs. Uh, in the gray, we have Yodan. He is playing as the Aztecs. In the red, we have Hussa Raiding. He is playing as the Magyars. In the teal, we have Yosumi. Yosumi is playing as the Britons. In the purple, we have Chinese for Honey1717. In the orange, we have the legend of Infobot. He is a legend. He's the only legend in this game. He's playing as the Slavs. In the blue, we have Big Scoob. He's playing as the Huns. And then in the yellow, we have Mongols for Turkish trading. They're all different civilizations. This is happening so consistently. I give them free pick of civilizations, and yet we're getting different civs. That's so interesting. I uh, was not expecting that, to be honest. Uh, but anyways, Beach Fight is going to be all about aggression. Uh, just like I said, these guys, they know Diplo well. Every single one of these players has played in my community games before. And many of these players have won community games before, like Roach, Turkish Trading, uh, Infoboat, Honey, Hussa Rating. They all perform really well. Now, if you haven't seen Beach Fight before, there's elephants in the north and south with relics. You'll see that here. And then also in the east and west, there's gold. Now we've made a few changes, and uh, it is now possible, it should be possible, to build on this terrain. Uh, it makes it a little bit more possible for trading and whatnot. But I I'm really curious to see how the diplomacy goes. Um, I mean, we, we have four or five people who play community games all the time. Will they work together, or will they know each other's strengths so work against each other? Turkish Trading says, uh, Blue Ally, and B Big Scoob said yes. I mean, they're so close to one another. Players start with a small pony. They do not start with a scout, and it has very low line of sight. So I actually noticed that uh, Hussa Rating was scouting with his king. It's actually not a bad idea, as long as you avoid the center. If you know the map, you'll know there won't be TCs out there for quite a while. Okay, so prediction here, guys. Does anyone have any guesses? Like, if you were to guess who would win this, what would you think? In fact, I might add the poll scene today. I forgot to do that last night. I was so exhausted. I really wouldn't mind getting the poll scene up, and then before each game, people can vote. Maybe we'll do that for the rest of the games today. Spam Eagle says Roach. Turkish Trading will win if he's allowed to hunt. You know, that's a that's an interesting uh, thing for him to point out there, Shalker, in the chat. Oh, hold on. Never mind, never mind. Uh, he could go to the south, and he could hunt the elephants. And Turkish Trading is now asking for a Roach alliance. Now, Turkish Trading is not known for his chat. In fact, a lot of the higher-rated players are not known for their chat in these types of games. 
But Turkish Trading has already gotten alliance out of Blue and already gotten alliance out of Roach, at least for now. Hmm. All right, all right. <laughs> Please say Roach. Roach, there you go. Nice try, Germans. You want to laugh at my German pronunciations? So Infobot isn't going to like me for this, but I wouldn't say that he is really... I wouldn't say that he's as close and he's as buddy-buddy as some of these other guys are going to be in this game, and I'm not really sure why I think that. He's very, he's very nice guy. He's very popular, but I don't see people going out of their way to ally with him. You know what it is? I think it's because he's a bit of a troll. I think he's a bit of a troll, and I think that it's possible that they might not trust him because of that. Honey has some big trust issues, okay? Honey, I, I've seen it before, but he's so dominant. Well, anyways, Roach will be the first one in Castle Age. He'll be there around uh, the 12-minute mark. Now, you start with pre-built farms in this. If you're wondering why Roach built farms, now it's just you start with pre-built farms. Hold on a second. Husser rating and Roach are now enemies, and I'm not quite sure why this is. Oh, now Husser rating is allying Roach again. Did Roach have his scout around here? That was weird. Why did they do that? Peculiar. But me. Well, I'm I'm ready. Yeah, Roach says, what was that? Like, normally that would happen if, if maybe Red wanted to kill Green Scout, so he had to enemy him real quick. But there's no Scout, so I'm not sure. Yo, Dan killed something, by the way. I guess it was Husser rating Scout. And now Infobot says, Honey, you love me, right? <laughs> See what I mean? Like, the others are like, Ally? Very serious. Build orders, build orders, build orders. And then Infobot's like, Honey, you love me, right? <laughs> and Honey says, I don't think we have a chance here. Honey! Where's the team spirit? I don't think we have a chance here, Turkish and Roach. We fight, we die, says Infobot. And Honey says, yeah. How about you get somebody else on your team, and you chin up, and you get ready to fight? Jeez Louise, man. Have some hope. Okay, so the rest of the players are about to join Roach and Infobo in Castle H. You see that on the top right. It's, again, it's so exciting for me, and maybe for you guys as well, to see these amount of players faced off against one another. Because normally in community games, and rah, 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 she's going to die. Uh, normally in community games, there's like, one of these guys in a game, and then three or four people have the team up against them. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, micro nerd. Oh, misclick. Oh, God, try that again. He had it, but he misclicked that palisade. Oh, wow. Let's get some micro. No, no. Oh, well, we can get micro. We can get the T90 nerds in the chat, but he ended up failing anyways. Feels bad, man. Pay some respects to that villager. It definitely is the strategy for Turkish trading to get a TC up there, I think. That would be a great idea. A TC here with how much food? 14,000 food? That would be amazing. Not to mention the relics. There's 12 relics in the south. There's, tr I, I assume, 12 relics in the north. No, 9. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Infoboat. Infoboat is town-centered here. Now, he's, he'll lose his villager if he's not careful. There we go. He shot the lion. Oh, and now he's shooting the elephant. Is he doing the weaken it trick? No way. <laughs> Dude, he, is, does he just want to get rid of him? There we go. There we go. He's probably thinking, well, I hope T90 wasn't watching that. That's a nomad trick to weaken it and then finish it off with the vills, but you have to be careful. Because if the final shots are shot by the town center, that elephant is, is dead. I mean, the elephant's dead either way. If anything, it's better for the elephant. Option one, he doesn't have some random villagers eating his carcass, so... He did it for the animals. 
Ooh, some scouts for Honey. I guess Honey created scouts to clear up... Maybe fight enemy villagers. Um, like Gray, for example, is not allied to him. But also to clean up these lions. He is allied with Big Scoob, and he seems to be helping him out a little bit. This is nice. And Now look on this side. Isn't this a sight to behold? Green, red, teal, yellow, all out here collecting that gold. And now... <laughs> The lions in the south are having some real success. Now Yodan will lose a villager. Whoa, is this played on hardest or something? The lions are going after Turkish trading now, too. Okay, if you wall in a vill, there we go. He's walled in that vill. Okay, and, and all those lions are attacking that woman, so... He's fine. I think he can get a TC up here now. Tony says, hey neighbor, I don't want to win. I just want to kill one specific player and that's not you. We stay friends okay. Yosumi says, you mean neighbor. Honey says, yeah, private chat. Okay, so Honey has made it very clear. He doesn't think he's going to win. At, is that villager going to survive? Yes. He doesn't think he's going to win, but he wants to kill one player. Now, I believe that that one player is probably either Roach, Turkish Trading... I don't know, anyone with a big reputation in community games. Been relatively peaceful, with the exception of these lions. Um, and again, another quick wall here. Wouldn't it be funny if this monk collects that relic and then the villager dies to the lion? Big Scoob has placed their first castle. Okay, this is a very important point. And you'll notice that players are buying stone here on the left. There's no stone on this map, so if you want castles, you have to purchase it, which means that civs like Mongols, for example, are nerfed significantly. This shouldn't be a surprise to them. The map has been available. All that information's been there for them. Mongols can hunt, but Mongols cannot build castles unless they purchase the castles. So a civ like Huns, for example, Huns is actually quite good here because you can research your elite elite tech, uh, unique tech, sorry, uh, marauders, and then create Tarkins from your stables. It's kind of similar to how Goths would research Anarchy and Perfusion from their castle, but they don't really need their castle. Same thing goes for Huns. Now, Roach is pulling relics to his main base instead of keeping the monastery in the corners. I think there's good and bad things about these strategies. Yes, you get the relics faster if you put the relics in the corners, but it's also more exposed and harder to secure. I would probably go for the relics in the corner, honestly, because you get them so much faster. But the real safe approach is to take them to your base. You'll just be down way, a big time with the relics. Speaking of the relic counts, if you look to the bottom right, that shows the relic counts. See Honey getting fletching now and making an archery range. This is pretty early for the fletching upgrade, unless you're planning on making more than one archer. Yeah, Farland, exactly. So, so the issue would be if you get a dozen relics in the north or the south, you then need to have a dozen monks to quickly transport them back to your base. Maybe you could do a mix, you know, but I think right now you certainly want that immediate gold spike. Players are buying stone. In fact, currently it is 257 right here. 257 gold to purchase 100 stone. Only one, two players have castles. A second player would be red. Um, oh, he's castled here. And he's turned on Yosumi. Oh, wow. I was wondering if someone was going to castle the corner. So hustle rating has a ton of power. And his pals, his community game pals, are the ones that are still here. Roach says, are we good, Hussa? Turkish Trading says, friend, and Hussa Rating says, yes. Yeah, so, again, Roach, Turkish Trading, and um, Hussa Rating, they've, they've played together a lot. They're also, they're also uh, from the same country, which helps. Now Roach is placing his first castle. He's placing that castle here. Okay, so castles are getting more expensive now. 
Okay, so there's definitely some separation, if you notice. Uh, more to the north, we have teal, orange, and purple who are working together. Then in the south, we have blue, we have yellow, we have green. Uh, Yodan, I'm not really sure on yet. I haven't spoke to Yodan much. But certainly Hussa Rating is part of that group. Actually, Hussa Rating is not allied with... No, he is allied with Yodan. Yodan has not accepted that. That's interesting. Well, the populations are pretty even across the board, right? There's no player under 80 population. There's no player above 100 population. Oh, Yodan has been sniping quite a few villagers at Hussar Rating's base with crossbows. That is not something you see a lot in community games. You just go for... I saw the range earlier, but go for crossbow aggression. All right, yo, Dan, let's see what your micro is like, buddy. Oh, the splits! The splits and the micro! Look at this micro nerd. Okay, and he'll get to the base of the Maganel. He should kill this. Oh, oh god, there might be some lag here. All right, he should kill this. Um... Yep, and then it'll snipe some more villagers as well. Hustle rating is not going to be very pleased with this. Again, we have some quality players here, guys. Now, you notice Roach and Yosumi will soon be in the Imperial Age. Uh, Yosumi has some siege workshops over here, so I, I guess he's actually already gone for Hussa Rating's castle. It's very helpful that to have Magyars, though, because the Magyar Hussar had bonus for siege, so I think that castle will stand for now. Oh, and another castle for Hussa Rating. That is expensive. Infobot says, Roach, we can get Hustle Rating out of the game. More gold for me, for you, and more relics for me. And Roach says, hmm, yeah, just afraid Turkish might help. Then I am in between. That's true. I think if Roach turns on Hustle Rating right now, he's going to get stomped by Turkish. And Turkish is starting to create Mangadai. And he's bringing relics to his base. Smart thinking. So he's doing he's doing the both approach. Some relics in the corners, some relics at home. Probably the best way to do it. See Hussar rating making cav archers, so I guess he wants to go CA, but he's sandwiched at the moment. I don't if they want Hussar rating out of the game, I don't think that they need to do that much. Seeing as Hussar rating is not on his way to imp and Teal is right here making archers like Britain archers. The concern for Teal is that he does not have a castle, or she does not have a castle. Apparently, Yosumi is a woman. Um, but yeah, big developments here. Roach is top score. He's thinking Cavalier for now. Who's the highest rated in this game? I mean, Roach and Turkish trading, I think they're the highest rated. They wrote, they're both around 1,800. 1v1s? Um, actually, Turkish trading was, was 1880 or something. So he almost met the cutoff to sign up for the pro day, day 3, because it was 19 plus for that day. But Roach is... He doesn't play as many 1v1s nowadays. And any time he steps foot in a community game, he's a beast. So he's doing really well. I feel like Yodan has made some big mistakes. Attacking Hussa Rating, who had three strong allies, seems like a really poor move. And he also hasn't communicated with the others. He hasn't spoken to them. Uh, and I... I also... I don't think he's collected many relics. He only has one relic, yeah, so I would consider him pretty far behind. Also, Big Scoob and Yosumi are also very late on relics. Now, Yosumi also didn't have this gold here, but Yosumi did build a, a town center in the right corner. All right, so what I'm going to do, uh, oh, that's the volume. I'm going to slow down the game speed a little bit. Unfortunately, in these big games, there can be a bit of lag. And uh, kind of seems like there might be a bit of lag for them, which is surprising, considering they're all European, and I think there's one American. 
Wow, Turkish trading is getting elite Mangadai already. That's crazy. And he has two castles. So, so much, so much for not having castles being a bad thing. Actually, Hussa rating is asking for help. He says, Roach help, and Roach says yes. So, we might see the first person die. Remember that each king sniped is $5. Each game one is $50. It looks like Roach is going to send some support. However, he's also running into Red's eco. Is he going to turn on Hussar rating? Hussar rating already realizes that this is a threat. Is beginning to wall up his castle and has his king inside that castle. And wow, Roach turns on Hussar rating. I really thought that this corner. I, this could hurt Roach, though. Oh, Roach has rams here. Well, Hustle Rating has yet to turn on Roach. I guess he hasn't reacted to this. Okay, now he's done so. Quite honestly, I thought that those guys would stay together for a long time. But never mind. Roach just skips over Yodan. He'll keep that alliance, and he's all over Hustle Rating. Hustle Rating... Oh, his king will stay alive, I'm sure, but there's Arbalest on this side, there's Cavalier on this side, and now there's Siege Rams! And the Siege Rams will destroy his castle. That was so well calculated from Roach, to be honest. Because had he attacked Hussa Raiding without Rams prepped here, he would have ended up losing access to gold. Now I think he'll end up being fine. It's not like there's much gold left there anyways. Wow. Alright, so... No king sniped yet, but this game is shaping up. Hustle rating, he doesn't seem to be loved as much as the others. <laughs> Someone out there's like, I love you, hustle rating. I mean, Magyar Cab Archers are very dangerous, so maybe Roach wanted to hit him before he could get there. Um, by the way, hustle rating is on his way to the Imperial Age in this town center. Pretty risky stuff, but he's fine for now. I see some conversation. Turkish Trading says gray. Now, will Turkish Trading go to Roach next? I kind of feel like there's a lot of strength between these two, and it might behoove him to go after him. Oh, well, Gray's king is here. And speaking of kings, the the building in which Hustle Rating is hiding his king is being attacked by Roach's trebuchets. Where, what was Gray doing with that king? But I guess he's safe now. Really exciting start to this game. Again, this is the imp TC for Hussar rating. His king is now in the town center. And he just makes it to imp, but he makes it to imp with 45 pop, and I think he's dead. No, I know he's dead. He's 3v1'd here. Yeah, Roach will continue to mine some gold. Hussar rating will lose these villagers. Now, someone just researched treason. <clears throat> yeah, there's the king for Hussar rating. Now, funny enough, in these situations, if, if Red runs around a lot, it'll actually waste Roach's time. Okay, I want to look over here. We haven't looked over here in a while. Uh, we have Blue making Cav Archers and, and probably Paladins. We have Honey making Cavalier. Um, Teal, we, we've seen. Uh, Gray is actually not allied to Teal. And, I mean, I think that's the case, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the case. So, Yodan could send his eagles right over to Yosumi, and Yosumi could be next. Someone is still researching treason. I think it's Roach. And, oh boy! Oh boy! Drill siege rams from Turkish trading running right into Roach's base. These Mangadai are elite. The only thing they're missing is chemistry. Roach needs to get some Cavalier quickly, but I think he's he's exhausted his resources. He doesn't have as much left. He has Halbs and he has Cavalier queued up, but he's low on gold. He's low on food. Can Roach survive this? And will he get any support, actually? That's a better question. So I think Gray is, is more focused on killing Teal. Okay, 
That was that was amazing. Hustle rating deleted his king, by the way. He deleted his king before he was shot, so no five dollars for that snipe. Yeah, Yosumi is definitely going to be fighting Yodan. And now Yodan is allied to Roach again? What happened there? Roach said, help please, Mongols getting strong. Yeah, yeah, Roach needs some support. I think it's good for everyone to, to help Roach here just because Mongols are insane. Yeah, Elite Eagles and Arbalest with the Cavalier and Halves, I think that might be enough to keep Roach alive. Keep in mind that over here, over here, Roach has Cav. And I bet you Turkish Trading forgot about this. Do you remember when Roach attacked Red's castle, but he had... He had support in the center as well. Turkish Trading forgot to have units here, so he will lose access to this gold slowly. And he's losing control against his push. So that's solid defense from Roach. You know, elsewhere, I'm still waiting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Honey! Is it Roach he wanted to kill? Honey says, on my way, and now Honey arrives with fully upgraded Chinese Cavalier. Infoboat says, can't help. Big Scoop. Oh, Big Scoop is attacking Infoboat! Holy crap, what a game! I think that Infoboat might die to this, though. There's a lot of Cav Archers and there's a lot of Paladins here. This is crazy. He said, Big Scoop. <laughs> What's the scoop, man? I, I normally just look at populations during these situations. And you'll notice the populations are pretty low for Infoboat and pretty low for Yodan. Now Roach is trying to rally the troops. He says, Honey and Turkish will kill everyone. He says, Scoob, ally Infoboat. Now hold on a second. Honey has turned on Turkish. And I don't think that this was expected. No, finish off the castle, dude. Finish off the castle. I mean, Teal was there to support as well. I'm sorry for moving all around. This is, there's just too much happening. Infoboat's king is on the move. And Turkish trading says, Nine, Teal, friend. And Teal says, K. Man, if only Diplo was that easy. Now, Honey allies Roach now and says, I tried to snipe Turk. So this has gone all over the place. Alliances are changing nonstop. Alliances are changing every time I look at it. Well, stop looking at it, T90. Stop looking at it. Funny enough, Yosumi's population is the highest. And because there's been so much focus on Roach and so much focus on Turkish, uh, he's been able to get to a solid population of Britain, Arbalest. Turkish has his king inside this castle. And Turkish has 49 military, but it does not seem like it's enough. Honestly, if Teal just worked with Roach and worked with Honey at the moment, they could snipe Turkish trading. I think I think Infoboat's in trouble. Big Scoob really wants to kill that king. It is inside the town center now. He's sending paladins around to destroy the TC. There's so little space on this map. If you get raided once, you're in a rough position. The seven players remaining. All right, can Infoboat survive? Um, I don't, I'm, I don't think so. I think Infoboat will die to this, right? Oh, the king has has run to this town center. I mean, okay, he is making a bunch of halves. He just needs to clear out the, the paladins. And then there's nothing here from blue to destroy the TC. By the way, Honey has now enemied uh, Turkish trading again. Now where he is with his military, I'm not so sure right now. Wait a second, where's the king at? Where, where's the king for Infoboat? Oh, it's on the move! It's on the move! Alright, he's making a run for it. 
I don't think Blue spotted that. Infoboat wisely left one villager inside that town center. That was sneaky stuff. Alright. Teal is turned on gray. <laughs> this is a crazy game. This is a ridiculous game. Turkish trading still has resources banked up. It's just he only has one castle to produce Mangadai out of. Roach, not so much. Roach has lots of gold, but he does not have space for farms. There's very little wood. Oh, and he's lost his corner out here. It's huge. I'm surprised there's seven players left on this map with 51 minutes remaining. Again, I am just going to... Um, lower the speed. Oh, that's making the speed faster. That's not possible. I lower the speed every now and then because there, it seems like there's a little bit of lag. Just an update on Infoboats King. It Oh, he's actually... He's coming back now. Alright, so he has this corner with all of his relics. It's not bad. Update on Roach. Roach is still dying, as he says. Pony says we need Teal. I think Pony's saying we need to... To work with Teal, possibly? Teal does have 67 military. Infoboat says, nice job, Scoob. Now can we have peace? And again, oh boy, Infoboat's King is on the run. I think if he just doubles back to his town center, though, he's fine. Running this way is risky. Just double back to your town center and you're fine. By the way, this corner, there's, there's nothing left. There's no gold left. Will anyone even try to trade on this map? Oh no, Roach! Roach could die to this. He needs to focus down the rams. Oh boy, these Mongol siege rams are quick. They'll close in quickly. Uh, yeah, I think I think Roach can survive this. Barely. Infoboat doubled back to his TC. What's Honey doing? Honey. Honey could make movers blue here. I didn't think the Honey Infoboat alliance would work for both for either of them, but it's it's kind of working right now. So many battles going on at once. This is ridiculous. And Beach Fight is definitely a map where you can't easily set up for late game. It's it's like it's definitely one of those maps where being aggressive is is your best option. Wow. I think Big Scoob is going to pay the price for attacking Infobo. Roach is barely hanging on. Big Scoob's King building is under attack. That is this town center. Infoboat says, Honey, ask him for peace. Who are we talking about here? Yeah, Honey says, Who? <laughs> no, I think Honey should just kill Blue now. No, Infoboat. No. Yeah, Honey's like, Why? I could just kill him. I don't think Infoboat realizes how good Honey's doing there. Can we please salute all the players in this game for for just how 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 beastly they've been? They've been so stubborn. I don't know how there's seven players remaining. I feel like it's about to be six, but but seriously, good play from them. I mean, teal and gray have been fighting their own one v one. Green and yellow have been fighting massive a massive one v one. Uh, Honey has has been pushing and, and assisting multiple sides. It's Big Scoob's turn to run. It would be funny if Infobo gets the kill. There has been a theme here in conversation. People have been quick to mention that Turkish trading will be unstoppable if he's untouched. Roach has mentioned it, but unfortunately Roach doesn't have any support. I think that that support is now coming from Gray. Gray really, really wants to keep him alive. Also, Teal is here. But Roach has his king uh, on the move. His king is on the move. Can Roach stay alive? He's in Gray's town center now. He's fighting with the last of his army. But Gray is here and Teal is here, and they're all going versus Turkish trading. 
Meanwhile, Blues King is running around and around and around. Turkish Trading has just allied Honey, who, by the way, has 14,000 gold. Oh my god, this is priceless. Infoboats King is <laughs> running on the same part of the screen as Big Scoob's King. This is priceless. This is amazing. And Big Scoob has signaled it. He's like, hey, <laughs> come hang out with me. Big Scoob has one vill and he has... I actually, I forget if... I think the king counts as military or something, but... Somebody needs to get some prize pool in this game. And I think Honey wants his $5. He should be able to finish off this king in time. Uh, Yellow is, is attacking this town center where Roach used to have his king. Big Scoob has been defeated by Honey's Cavalier. Grace King is right here, so he's got to be careful of this. Um, just madness. Just madness, 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 madness. But can Roach, can Roach contribute anything? Probably not. He'll attempt to reboom in Honey's base. Actually, hold on a second. Okay, I thought those trebs were unpacking, not packing up. Okay, Roach says, going for you, Teal. Yosumi says, yes. Okay, so at this point, there's there, there's actually going to be a struggle for wood on this map. Turkish trading's military population is high. His resources are decent, but it's nothing impressive. The relic count's still very important. You look to the bottom right to see that. Infoboat has eight. Which is quite a high number of relics, and that is all in the north. I guess, at the moment, Turkish trading really wants to kill Roach. I thought they were going to ride off into the sunset together. I thought they were going to be buddy-buddy. Um, I think Roach will survive this. Actually, there's three rams there. I think he will survive this because of Infoboat's help. It seems like it. Gray and Teal still going at it here. There's lots and lots of trash units now. Because they're both really low on gold. Where do we go from here? I think players need some time to breathe. You can trade from corner to corner. And Roach is even ta town centering here. Again, just... How many players would be able to continue to survive and continue to fight in matches like this? Infoboats is poor Turkish trading. I feel really bad for him now. Well, he turned on Roach first, right? Roach says he attacked me. Yeah, so I think Turkish trading... He probably regrets going for his move. Oh god, and Turkish trading is being attacked as we speak. Uh, his king is on the move as well. Infoboat's saying they 4v1 Turkish Trading, so he feels bad. Uh, I think Turkish Trading is out of the game now. I think he's out of the game. He doesn't have a castle. All he was making was Mangadai Ram. Uh, I guess a few Hussars. Okay, he doesn't have his relics anymore. Pony has now sent villagers forward immediately to collect those relics. And he is now on the move, running around with his king somewhere. Uh, but yeah, Roach is like, I, well, I didn't feel that 4v1 because I, I only felt that Yellow was attacking me. Meanwhile, Yodan is finally pushing Yosumi with Eagles, Skirmishers, and Siege Rams. And, and Aztecs versus Britons, that's, that's near impossible for Britons. <laughs> Turkish trading has created a small little gate. A ga it's a gated community for his king. Oh, how cute. That's funny. Yeah, Turkish will will meet the same fate as Roach. He'll be low population, but only this time Turkish trading won't have many allies. Roach at least has five. Okay, the Chukunu are on the way. And... <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Pony gets the second kill in this game. Or I guess uh, technically it'd be the third, but he gets the second snipe in this game. Pony 
The guy who said, I don't think I'm going to win, I just want to kill one person, has killed two people. Now, this is that important part, important stage of any community game where lot, uh, quite a few players are weak, quite a few players have broken alliances, and one or two players rise to the top. And Honey has risen to the top, mainly due to the fact that he's had strong alliances on either side, and he's been making good moves with his military. So this game is, is just a dream for him at the moment. But who's going to spoil that dream? Because at the moment, his king is in a town center. I mean, if Infobo wanted to go for it, he could. If Grey pushes through Teal and wants to go for it, he could. Meanwhile, um, many of the other players are going to do their best to reboom, I guess. Well, I guess specifically Roach is going to do his best to reboom. Infobo has 120 infantry units. Uh, sorry again, the... I think adjusting the game speed has been a good idea, right? It Slowing it down every now and then isn't the end of the world. You know who I think is in a fine position? Yodan. Yodan has amazing Aztec skirmishers. He is missing chemistry, I think. Um, but anyways, he has amazing Aztec skirmishers. He has pikes. He has siege ram. That works very well against many of the civs here. It would struggle against uh, Slavs, actually. Infoboat started trade. Interesting. I don't have a market hotkey set up for this. Um, oh, wow! He and Honey are going to trade in the corners. Roach says, I am 39 pop. I won't do anything for now. Um, I don't know if there's someone there from the Capture Age team, but for some reason, my Capture Age won't lock onto my screen now. Let's see if I can fix that. Oh, hi. Windows hit. I held this one for you. VFO. No, screw you. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, my mouse cursor won't stay on the screen. Hey, Deco, what's the hotkey to get my mouse cursor to stick on the screen? Uh, randomly, it just stopped doing so. Does Capture Age display the game time? Yes, bottom right. Or sorry, it's more in the center. Click Capture Age logo. Um, okay. What? There we go. Perfect. That works. Thank you, Deco. Capture Age always there. Capture Age always there. Okay, so so Infobot and Honey are saying, where do we go from here? Infobot says, we'll have to fight. Let's give each other five minutes, okay? Honey says, wait, I give you win. Well, hold on a second. I need to give you an update on Teal. As those two are making some type of a suicide ta uh, pact. I think Teal is get gonna get rolled. He also can't flee either because the skirmishers are here. So I think Yodan, who's come out of nowhere, honestly, uh, will get his king snipe. This is assuming the skirmishers fire and boom. Nice kill. Okay, so did did Infobo and Honey really just decide to go against each other? Oh no, they decided to attack Roach! Well, Roach did realize the situation. He said that um, he's not going to be doing anything for a while. And up oh, here he is. <laughs> here he is in the corner. Trying his best to survive. With so many strong players in this game. So many of them were going to be focused down. And Roach was, Roach was one of them. But am I crazy or was that the conversation that they just had? <laughs> Honey said just passing, question mark. Roach was like, stop that. <laughs> I don't know why, but that comment, stop that, <laughs> really makes me laugh. It's like, get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Honey has just been turned on by Gray. And his king is inside of this town center. Gray! 
Click the king! Oh, Gray didn't realize. Well, hold on a second. Infobo could take it. Roach says, go info go. There's the loop-de-loop -loop from Honey with his king. Oh, this is such a risky loop-de-loop. -loop. Where does he go? If he goes to any of these buildings, the buildings could be on the way down. Right, he's in the town center for now. Well, I think Honey has, has the resources, and I think that he has the available options to destroy this kind of stuff, but he just didn't have his pop space here as he was focused on Roach. Unfortunately for him, he loses a castle, but he will keep his monastery up, and he will keep his other castle up, and his town center. Oh, wow. Infobot says, love you, Honey. Sorry. Okay, so he apologizes before he goes for this. Pretty much expected, right? Honey takes top score. Everyone sees that he's doing well. This is Diplo. Somebody commented this on YouTube when I uploaded the new Blue Coffee episode uh, from yesterday. I, I forget the exact quote, but it was something like, no one, no one is forever in Diplo. It's all about what's convenient for you at the time. And, and Honey was very convenient and, and helpful to Infobot's cause for quite some time. But it has reached the stage where it is more, more convenient for Infobot to attack Honey and destroy Honey. And Honey respects that. Honey acknowledges that. Now what's interesting is they are both trading together up here at the same time. Honey says, Info why? And Infobot says, because it's a game. <laughs> Alright. Well, how many kings have we seen running on the sands now? Alright, this king is, is running to the corner, Eco. Gray says trade, Roach says yes. Roach is still alive. He's at 82 pop. He has gold, he actually doesn't have food. What's the price of food? I'm surprised at that. Yeah, and I'll just slow down the speed every now and then. I mean, Infobot has Onager, he has Champion, he has Halb, but... I think he mainly needs Halb. Halb Onager, right now. And Yodan has turned on Infobot. Why is that? Okay, he has his forces here. Seems a little bit preemptive. Infobot replies, oh boy. Now, I'm not sure how many people out there have seen the Legend of Infobot video. Infobot was a big old noob when he became a legend. <laughs> um, he's significantly better now. He was a legend for some noob things, basically, but he has a lot of fight. If you watch that episode, it shows how much fight he had. Infobot allies Honey. Again, maybe feeling bad. And I like how Roach is still speaking. He says, you guys have to stop fighting. Go for Honey. Chinese is strong, man. Infobot says, Roach, that dude is dead. Yes, 11. And then Honey says, dude, I have no eco at all, 237 gold. Which is a complete lie. That is a very specific number, which makes people believe that it is true. And Roach is calling him out for his BS. He says, 11, Infa, he is trading with you. And then Gray says, me, and Roach says, no purple. So, even if Roach doesn't win this game, well done for influencing how the game will go um, or how the game will continue, right? Because I think he realizes that Honey's full of you-know-what. I like how I swear, and then I, like, try not to swear for another half hour, and then I, like, I get PG again. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to say, you're full of shit. <laughs> and that's exactly what Honey is full of right now. I mean, he has a castle, he has cavalier, he has chukunu, he has trade, he is still fine. Sometimes there's just no better words. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't decoy me, chat. Honey says, okay, no backstabs, okay. I kill gray and green for you. Heart. Infobot says 11. Wait, Honey says, then you take 50 bucks. Infobot says, nah, man, charity. And Honey says, good as well. Oh, yeah, by the way, Infobot said his winnings will go to charity. 
He said that before the game, and I said I would send his 70 bucks to charity ahead of time. Making the joke that he would win the game and snipe four people, which he has not done. But, um... I will do that. If those guys do not want the money, I will do that. Alright, so this is an awkward just passing moment. Infoboat! I mean, he's a charitable guy. He's, he's now feeding Grey Kills to boost his stats. Oh god, Infoboat! Get your head out of the clouds, Boat! He's still allied to Grey. He did not realize that. And now he reacts. The sad thing is, with this many champions, he'll probably still clean it up, but just imagine how good it would have been had he had him on enemy. I hear monks at the moment. Oh wow, Honey has some monks. And guys, Roach is back in the game. Roach is back in the game. Currently making onagers and making halbs. So, gray and green and then purple and, and orange, I guess. Only it's not quite that simple. Because Roach is still allied with Infoboat. Wow, Roach even made a light cap to snipe the monks. Are you kidding me? That was amazing. And we could see a big shot, but Honey sees the onagers and he knows. So he's backing away. This is some high level stuff right here. One hour and 25 minutes in. Both teams have started trade on the other side. And both teams have considerable amounts of gold. And honestly, Roach could click Siege Onager with these resources, and it wouldn't be a bad move. Now, Gray, I think he needs Roach, but I also think he needs to be very careful about letting Roach get too strong. But right now, they need each other. In fact, Gray needs him now, because Infoboat's spamming the Slav Infantry. Alright, no surprise that Honey decides to send in a group of Cavalier. Um, if he mops up the Onagers, then Cavalier Chukunu will, will destroy Roach again. Nice attack round from Roach, but unfortunately it will not be enough. Uh, oh, wow, another good attack round from him. But once the Onagers are out of the picture, it'll be Chukunu Cavalier versus Halb and a few Cavalier. And Chukunu Cavalier will, will win that for sure. Crazy. By the way, thank you AMC Kinnon for the $50 donation. He said, stoked to catch you live, mate. Love from Australia. Man, thank you so much for that. Guys, I've been so focused on this game, and I will continue to be focused on the game. So, uh, But yeah, I got to give a shout out for that, man. That's super generous. There's other donos as well, other subs, other resubs. I love you guys. Thank you. Okay, Infoboat's clearing up Gray's units. And Roach says, you're going to die, Infoboat, if you do that. And Infoboat is saying that Gray attacked him, I guess. I mean, I, I have this feeling that Honey will kill Infoboat with Chinese if they don't all team against them. I definitely have that feeling. It's mainly due to the fact I've seen Honey play at a higher level, though. I, I feel like Slavs could do it. And Infoboat's researching Siege Onager. So now Infoboat's beginning to speak to Honey. Again, Honey's king is in this town center. Gray and green are both very weak again. Honey, I'm not into this thing you propose. We'll fight and I prefer losing, but no backstab. I will wait. Okay, so I guess Infoboda said, let's kill Roach and let's kill Gray, and then we'll fight it out 1v1. No backstabbing. I guess that's the decision that has been made here. Uh, Infoboat is... Oh, wait a second. No, he's just allied Gray. What? What is happening? Oh, big Onager shot! Oh my goodness! That shot will keep Roach alive, possibly. Uh, you know what? All of a sudden, Honey's resources and his po sorry, his resources good. His population is not so good. And 
Man, this is a topsy turvy game. Honey's at 95 pop and Roach is at 133. How is that even possible? And then there's Infovote at 200 population with Siege Onager Champion and 128 military. Again, the king for Honey is out here. If Roach had a castle to research trees, and I'm sure he would, yeah, he could snipe that king. Unbelievable. Day two has been such a treat. Man, all the games are stacked as well. Okay, good conversation, good Diplo. So Roach, Honey has been very nice to me. I attacked him, but then t Gray turned on me. So I allied him back, and he gave me that. So I can't backstab him now. <laughs> Don't you love how Honey and Roach are both saying the other's going to win? <laughs> Honey's like, I just want to say, at the end, Roach will win again. It's because they both win so much. And Roach is like, no, that's not true. And Honey's like, yeah, it is true. They both keep going back and forth with this. And it, I, honestly, I think they both believe it. Because they 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 know that each each of them have trade, and they know how dominant they both are. Like Honey and Roach have both won countless community games. Now Infoboat is friends with everybody right now, um, which is kind of a dangerous game to play if his score begins to get higher. Okay, Gray used to have his king inside of this town center. He no longer has his king inside of this town center, though. It was a villager. It was a fake. He's now in this TC. But I imagine Honey will, will focus him down. Though Honey probably sees what Infoboat has and is expecting all of that to go to him. Well, Roach needs to... He needs to save Gray's markets at the very least. Are you kidding me? What is this trade, guys? What is this trade? This is going to do Roach a favor to kill this market. This is the most ridiculous trade line I've ever seen. It, getting zero trade per trip. Look at this. I think they're actually making a trip from market to market. Because if you look to the bottom right, it says zero gold, zero gold, zero gold. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Long Swordsman for Yodan? What? Infoboat's is only to stream. He says, sorry about being so passive. I have no clue what to do, 11. Yeah, so he, he just had to tick off chat to all the other players so he could say that to us. Infoboat's only crime is that he's been too nice. He says, Honey has been too nice to me. This is true. But he feels bad killing the other players. That's what it is. See, Infoboat, I'm sorry, Honey, but don't don't worry about how nice someone has been to you, man. This is Regicide Rumble. We want drama. He says, but helping him would be very unfair and bad for my chances. See, exactly. You have to kill Honey. Roach says, delete or your trade sucks. I guess they... Yeah, Gray deleted his markets. Oh, Green has... Okay, I got it backwards. It was Gray who had an additional market there. Honey's about to hit their trade, by the way. How does everyone remaining have 100 military? Just so high level. The amount, of, the amount of adapting these players have had to do has just been insane. And now Roach is getting Siege Onager. So Gray will have Aztec Champion, Pike, Skirm, Eagle. Uh, Roach will have Slav Halp. Cavalier, Siege Onager. Infoboat will have full infantry with Slavs and Siege Onager. How much wood is left? 22k. 22k according to Capture Age. And now Roach is snagging these relics as well. Roach will have more relics than anyone after he gets these. How? This is why Honey said, I just want you to know that Roach is going to win if we continue to play it like this. Okay, so Gray realizes what's going on. He says, Orange, who are you going to be enemy with? Infoboat says, <laughs> Infoboat says, I'm thinking about it. 
Dre says, let's all kill purple first. And then <laughs> Gray says, then play rock, paper, scissors. All right. So big movement now from Honey. Yeah, it really, it all it all depends on what Infoboat decides to do. If he wants to attack Honey, now would be the time. Because a lot of Honey's Cavalier are down to the relics. Storm comes in at two hours. We don't really need to worry about that. And uh, Roach is clearing up the trade with some with some halves. He has a lot of trade. Holy crap! He has a total of uh can't find it down here. Sorry, twenty two trade. Yeah, I can understand where Infobot's coming from, but he is gonna have to make a decision. I think it's better for Infobot if they decide to kill Honey. But Honey's been the nicest to him, so he's conflicted. Then again, one could argue that if he kills Honey with the other two, the other two will just gang up on him afterwards. Because he'll be top score afterwards, and he was the one who was allied with Honey that entire time, their enemy. Some seriously sick diplomacy. And Infoboat's not doing much right now. Oh, this is funny. That tor It looks like the torch is coming out of the top of the, the town center. <laughs> what are the odds of that? That someone would place the town center so perfectly that the torch is at the top. That's amazing. I was like, what? What kind of upgrade did he research? Okay, Infoboat says, okay, Honey, I join you. You're losing. Sorry, Roach and Yodan. And Roach says he isn't losing 11. Well... It's a 2v2 then. And Yodan says, Roach, we need to kill Purple now. I mean, honestly, Honey's population is really bad, but his resources are fine. What's really important here is that Infobo will continue to chop wood. Roach will lose these Lumberjacks. Again, because of the lag that's or the stutter that's happening with the spectating, I continue to slow down the game. And now Honey says, man, how many people think that Honey and Roach are going to be frustrated with each other after this game? <laughs> they're both they're both saying the opposite at all times. It's amazing. Honey's like, yo, Dan, Roach is playing games. Be aware. Just have your king safe. He's trying to plant that seed of, hey, Roach cannot be trusted. Roach has been doing the same thing about Honey. It's amazing. Ooh. Nice, nice SO shot from Infoboat. Oh, please, make it happen. Oh, huge shots and good decision from Gray to now dive in with the Eagles after the Siege Onagers. But it is orange and purple. It is Honey and Infoboat, the alliance that formed from the start. Only against Gray at the moment. Uh, Roach has got to arrive. Roach says he's on his way. Do you remember that that quote? Think about it. Think think about the first conversation between Infobo and Honey. It's legendary stuff. Uh, Roach he almost needs production buildings on the left hand side if he wants to truly support Gray. Man, Gray he only had thirty villagers before that fight. He had one hundred and fifty military, but he's lost one hundred military. Oh! Wow! How did Yodan get here with Rams? Yodan arrives with rams out of nowhere, and he's coming very close to ejecting Infoboat's king. The king will stay inside that castle. Well, after all that, you know what happens? Pony has 100 plus military, Infoboat has 100 plus military, and Grey is very weak. I'm not sure what Gray has been doing with his markets. He needs to delete this one. Yo, Gray's king is out in the open. Gray says, well, I have nothing left. You have heart. You have soul. You have fight. You have determination. Roach is slinging him resources. So he can continue to create units. Wow. Wow. Very little chat now from the players. They're really focused. 
I think as long as gray has gray and green have relics and they have trade they can continue to fight um, the lack of wood for them is a huge concern though roach as far as I know doesn't have any lumberjacks and infoboat has plenty of lumber oh boy oh boy the king is right here for Roach. He's making a run for it. That might just be enough to stay alive, though. Run to this town center. Create more halbs. I think the halbs will mop up the cavalier. And they might be okay. But guys, where will this go with Infobo and Honey? Because it is looking increasingly likely that Roach and Yodan are going to get wiped. Where will this go? By the way, at the two-hour mark, a storm starts to come in on the sides of the map. It's very weak, but... I mean, the, the mechanic is basically to prevent players from camping in corners. On this map, there hasn't been a lot of that. Roach says, he's going to kill you, Info. You have no chance. And Infoboat says, I made up my mind, Roach. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Honey says, you can't divide us. We are light. You are dark. Kappa. <laughs> That's amazing. For those that are watching on YouTube, Kappa is a Twitch emote, and Twitch chat's going to show you that right now. <laughs> Honey's like, if Honey and, and Infobot were in a relationship, Honey's like, Honey's like the the person in the relationship that's that's using Infobot, and Infobot refuses to see the, anything bad in what Honey does, <laughs> and all of all of Infobot's friends are like. Ashley, I'm telling you, he's awful for you. He's awful for you. You can find someone better. And Ashley's like, no, you cannot divide us. We're meant to be. Okay, well, it does seem like it's near the end. Roach's king is here. Gray's king is probably being hunted down as we speak. Oh, wow, it's funny enough. Next to Yellow's little wall off. Um, it, funny enough, they have trade, but they need to start purchasing wood and food. You see that the price of wood and food is, is a lot higher now. I think, I think this will be a big 1v1 between the two lovers, Infobo and Honey. Now, if this was proper Diplo play, someone would make a move before Roach and Yodan are, are finished off. That would be the best way to do it. Now, I've noticed that Honey has had Arbalest here for quite some time. He just uh, Arbalest Chukanu camping next to his castle. Roach is still running around. Honestly, if I'm Roach, and this is probably what he'll choose to do, I just, until I die, I tell Honey, Honey, mass siege onagers, Honey, mass stuff to kill, or not Honey, sorry, Infoboat, mass stuff to kill Honey. Pretty much what he has been doing, and he's he's running to this corner now. People continue to research treason. This is where having cav archers would be very nice. Uh, Gray's king is now where? Yeah, gray and green's king in the same same parts of the map. <laughs> and then there's purple chasing it. Honestly, all, all of the players remaining have played super, super well. I thought Roach was dead when he was attacked by Turkish earlier in the game. Um, I, I, No, I was sure he was dead. I never thought he would get this far. Gray wasn't really convincing for me for a while. Remember, he attacked Hussa rating. I thought that would be a bad decision, but it worked out. I mean, they could... If they had military numbers, maybe Roach... And uh, Yodan could go for a king snipe last minute. You know what? It might be worth it with the eagles. Maybe Yodan will try that. But yeah, and then Infobo and Honey. Obviously, they, they very much needed to attack Turkish trading. They very much needed to work together. Remember, Infobo was near death. And Roach has now said it. He says, it's time to turn, Info. It's time to turn. I am dead. But you notice how he's giving him time. And Yodan says, me dead too. I think Honey saw the chat from, from Gray and says, why are you still talking? I think he's saying that to Infoboat. 
I think he realizes that Infobot is talking to them. Uh, or no, he's, he's talking to Roach, I guess, and saying, just resign already. Roach says, well, it's because it's more fun to be third than fourth. <laughs> this is like, did you ever hear that saying? <laughs> you don't have to outrun the bear, you just have to be faster than the other guy. <laughs> right now, Honey and Infobot are f ferocious beasts <laughs> chasing Roach and Yodan. <laughs> They're just open to outrun each other. <laughs> That's funny. Roach's TC is under attack, but he has Halbs here, so he's fine. Again, okay, this is giving Infoboat time, but I, I know Infoboat, and I have a feeling that Infoboat is is not planning on backstabbing. He's going to be true to his word. Honey's going to snag these relics. There's Gray's King again. Running all around. Oh, oh. I mean, this is $5 right here. Uh, micro, micro, oh god, no, loop back around. Loop back around, hill bonus shot. Ooh, wow. All right, the king is, is alive for now. So Roach and Gray, both looking for third place, looking to get up on the podium. Roach has more pop. Honestly, all Honey needs to do is kill this market. Instead of killing the trade, just kill the market. There's nothing stopping him from doing that. But he's focusing on a lot of different areas at the moment. Just a reminder with king locations, this is where Infoboat has his king, and this is where Honey has his king. Infoboat is working on bringing relics from the north to his main base. Possibly preparing for a big attack between himself and his current ally. I don't think it's so much about getting third place. I think it might have something... I think they're trying to give Infoboat time. That's all. Alright. So, two and a half minutes until the storm comes in. If you're in my Twitch chat, uh, Hazemi is linked where the storm zones are if you want to check that out. Oh boy. Okay, Roach is buying food. I guess he's buying food so he can make Cavalier. Oh my god, do you see what he's making? Where is he making this stuff? Okay, guys. Roach isn't about third place. Look what he's making. He's making Cavalier and a few Cav Archers. I'm not even sure. Oh, he's getting Fletching. <laughs> he's buying food big time so he can get his upgrades. Meanwhile, his king is still somehow alive in here. Man, how sick would it be if he could snipe somebody? He can't- he cannot snipe Honey if Honey has these units here. Wait a second! Maybe he can! He has 60 military! I think he needs a little bit more patience, though. This is only gonna work once. You're not gonna get a second attempt at this. Oh god. Uh, maybe he has to go now. A Grace King is here as well. <laughs> um, okay, Honey is sending Cavalier this direction, and he has Cavalier on both sides. Maybe Roach does need to move. Honey will likely research trees and to see where the King is again. He's probably pissed off too. He's probably angry because he's been chasing Kings for so long. But does he see this? Okay, Infobo patrolled that one Hussar. This is not going for Honey. I don't think so, anyway. Or is it? I mean, that castle right there is where Infobo has his king. The Chukunu are no longer here. The Chukunu have left the area. Roach should kill the Arbalest first. Okay, he's going for the castle. How amazing would it- LOOK! Three kings are under attack at the same time! Three kings- Three kings buildings are under attack at the same time, or something! Roach's king is being attacked, Yodan's king is being attacked, and Honey's king building is under attack. And... the king will eject on the other side! Oh man, and Honey says close. Honey says close, as Honey's cavalier snipe Grey. 
What a close attempt from Roach. It was so close. His king is actually out here in the storm. I, I, Honey says, nice try. That was a seriously good attempt. He killed the castle. What? Honey committed suicide. What? Was that intentional or was that out of respect for... They're just... They're just figuring this out. Infobot says, did he suicide? <laughs> Infobot says, dude, I have the lamest win ever. Yeah, Honey just made it the lamest win ever because he committed suicide. What happened? Honey, if you could please provide us with some answers. Oh! Five bucks from the grave? Did somebody order five bucks from the grave? <laughs> Honey just said Infobot heart. All right, so I guess... Oh! Infobot gets the kill. I don't think he was paying attention to it. <laughs> but Infobot gets the kill. Honey says, actually, I thought Roach was dead already. Oh, okay. That makes a little bit more sense. Well, now he's dead. So Honey ends up getting third place. Honey thought that Roach was dead. That makes sense. Hilarious. If Roach was dead, Honey would have would have given the win to Infobot, who, by the way, is giving his, his uh, winnings to charity. Which is really cool. Um, that game went over two hours on a map. Which I thought would be the fastest of the whole event. Look how little wood is left. We have... Yeah, see these little white dots? Those are the only trees left. About 18 trees remaining. Uh, no gold mines remaining. No, there's 67 gold somewhere. I don't know where that is exactly. But uh, I just trade unbelievable game uh, my hats go off to everybody seriously it was, the performance was stellar from everyone uh, at the start hustle rating I do feel the worst for him because I really felt like he was going to be good friends with his German pals the guys he's played community games with time and time again he got killed off real quick but there's always got to be one of those and he was the one and then uh, the final four Roach uh, how did he survive from Turkish trading he obviously got some epic help, but um, seriously good reboom. Yodan had seriously good reboom. I loved how the teams formed up on the sides with the trade to stay alive. And then Infobot and Honey, what do you got to say? You remember what Infobot said at the start? He said, Honey, do you love me? I guess the answer is yes. Uh, beautiful, beautiful stuff for day two of Regicide Rumble. And I can't use my mouse apparently. Hold on a second. Actually, I think it's the capture age feature that locks me in here. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> While I figure this out, you can look at the upcoming games. I'm trapped in capture age. It has captured me. Help, I have fallen. I can't get up. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. One thousand one hundred and four kills for Infobot, one thousand kills for Honey. Funny enough, it was Honey and Infobot who really saved Roach after attacking Turkish trading. They realized how strong he was. Man, what cracks me up is how Honey just kept being like, Roach is gonna win. If you guys keep playing like this, Roach is gonna win. And then Roach at the same time was like, No, 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 Honey's gonna win. If you keep playing like this, Honey's gonna win. It's hilarious. So, quite a few king snipes in that game. $5 for every king sniped, and $50 to the winner there, Infobot. But a lot of respect. I think these players have a lot of respect for each other. They played, they played together for years, and that was one heck of a game. So, if you saw that on YouTube, uh, at this point, I think Regicide Rumble has probably already concluded as far as live streams go. But if you'd like to stop by the live stream in the future where I'm streaming other things... 
The Twitch link is below in the video description. Uh, still think I'm sticking to the one upload a day schedule. So this would be game number five, which puts us at the end of the event.